Pierre Stephen Robert Payne was a professor of English literature, lecturer in naval architecture, novelist, historian, poet and biographer. Born at Saltash, Cornwall, Payne was the son of an English naval architect and French mother. Career. Payne worked as a shipbuilder and then for a time with the Inland Revenue. In 1937, Payne met Adolf Hitler in Munich through Rudolf Hess, an incident which Payne describes in his book Eyewitness. In 1941 he became an armament officer and chief camouflage officer for British Army intelligence at Singapore. Driven out of Singapore by Japanese forces, he ended up first in Chongqing and then in Kunming, in both of which places he kept extensive diaries which were published in 1945. In Kunming he was a close friend of the influential intellectual Wen Yijua who was assassinated by Chiang Kai-shek's Kuomintang. Between 1943 and 1946 Payne taught naval architecture at Leander University in China. In 1946, Payne met and interviewed Mao Zedong in Yan'an. During the interview Mao correctly predicted that it would only take the communist forces a year and a half to conquer China once the armistice with Chiang Kai-shek and his followers was broken. Between 1949 and 1954 Payne was a professor of English literature at the University of Montevallo in the United States. Works Payne had more than 110 books published, including novels, histories and biographies. He was best known for the biographies, which included studies of Charlie Chaplin, Greta Garbo, Adolf Hitler, Vladimir Lenin, Joseph Stalin, Leon Trotsky, Mohandas K. Gandhi, Albert Schweitzer, Fyodor Dostoyevsky, Ivan the Terrible, Chiang Kai-shek, Karl Marx, Mao Zedong, Sun Yat-sen, Andre Malro, William Shakespeare, Alexander the Great, The White Rajas of Sarawak and George C. Marshall. As a novelist, Payne used the pseudonyms Richard Cargo, John Anthony Devon, Howard Horn, Valentin T. Konov, and Robert Young. For his biographies, he wrote under the name of Robert Payne. In 1954, he published a pastiche novella, The Deluge. As Leonardo da Vinci, the book was mostly Payne's writing, incorporating fragmentary da Vinci notes. One of Payne's better-known works is The Life and Death of Adolf Hitler. This biography is now perceived to be tremendously flawed. It is widely acknowledged that Payne uncritically accepted unreliable sources, including Bridget Dowling for a completely fictional year spent in Liverpool, England. However at this time, Dowling's claims regarding this non-existent visit had been under-researched, and even the well-known Hitler biographer Alan Bullock was unaware that they were false. Bibliography This list is incomplete, you can help by expanding it. Biographies Mao Tse si Tung, Ruler of Red China, Revised Editions published his portrait of a revolutionary. Mao Tse si Tung and Mao Tse si Tung. All editions include an historical account of China from the Taiping Rebellion, but are centered around Mao's life and philosophy. The Marshall Story a biography of General George C. Marshall, Prentice Hall, republished his General Marshall, A Study in Loyalties, William Heinemann, Limited, London, The Great God Pan, a biography of the Tramp played by Charles Chaplin, Heritage House, republished as The Great Charlie, Deutsch, The Three World of Albert Schweitzer, Thomas Nelson and Son, republished his Schweitzer, Hero of Africa, Hale. The Life and Death of Lenin, Simon and Schuster, The Rise and Fall of Stalin, Simon and Schuster, Marx, Simon and Schuster, The Life and Death of Mahatma Gandhi, E.P. Dutton, 1969, A Portrait of Andre Malraux, Prentice Hall, The Life and Death of Adolf Hitler, Prager, LCCN 7292891. Ivan the Terrible Krell Collier ISBN 0-690-005822-2 The Great Garbo, Prager, The Life and Death of Trotsky, McGraw-Hill, Leonardo, a biography of Leonardo da Vinci in which Payne asserts that the Mona Lisa is a portrait of Isabella of Aragon and that the traditional chalk 
Self-portrait of Da Vinci is actually a portrait of his father, Sun Yat-sen, a portrait, Asia Press. Novels The Mountains and the Stars, William Heinemann, London, published under the pseudonym Valentin T. Konov, The War in the Marshes, Faber and Faber, London, published under the pseudonym Robert Young, A Political Allegory Influenced by Rex Warner, Love and Peace, William Heinemann, London, the first of a series of novels describing the life of a Chinese family from 1908 to the present day, republished his Torrents of Spring. Mead, The Lovers, William Heinemann, London, the second of a series of novels describing the life of a Chinese family from 1908 to the present day. Alexander the God, Win, an abridged version was republished as Alexander and the Camp Follower, Elec. Brave Harvest Ballantine Books, published under the pseudonym Richard Cargo, republished his Harvest William Heinemann, London, A House in Peking, Doubleday, republished his Red Jade William Heinemann, London, O Western Wind, Putnam, published under the pseudonym John Anthony Devon, The Barbarian and the Geisha, New American Library. The Back of the Tiger, Belmont Books, published under the pseudonym Richard Cargo, The Tortured and the Damned, Horizon Press, The Lord Comes, a novel on the life of Buddha, publisher, W. Heinemann, The Story of Q, History the Fathers of the Western Church, Viking, Ancient Greece, The Triumph of a Culture, Norton, also published his The Triumph of the Greeks, Hamish Hamilton, the Horizon Book of Ancient Rome, American Heritage Publishing Company, republished his Ancient Rome, American Heritage Press, Fortress, Simon & Schuster, The Dream and the Tomb, A History of the Crusades, Cuba Square Press, originally published New York, Stein and Day, Other Works Forever China, China Awake Diaries Continued, The Wanton Nymph, a Study of Pride published by William Heinemann, Ltd., London, The Deluge, Twain, 1954, A House in Peking, Doubleday, The Holy Fire, The Story of the Early Centuries of the Christian Church in the Near East Harper, New York, The Holy Sword Harper and Brothers, The Gold of Troy, The Story of Heinrich Schliemann and the Buried Cities of Ancient Greece, Funken Wagnalls, NY Library of Congress Catalogue No. 5811361, Hubris, A Study of Pride Harper Torch Books NY, with an introduction by Sir Herbert Reed. Hubris is a revised paperback version of The Wanton Nymph, A Study of Pride. Walter Kaufman footnotes Hubris in his book Tragedy and Philosophy. He wrote that few have crowded as many popular misconceptions about Aeschylus and Sophocles into as few pages as has Robert Payne in Hubris, A Study of Pride, 20-31, p. 63 The Splendor of Greece published by Hale, Trumpet in the Night, London, Robert Hale, 188 pp. Lawrence of Arabia, A Triumph published by Pyramid Books. The Civil War in Spain, 1936-1939, gathered and annotated by Robert Payne, N.Y., Putnam, 1962, The Splendor of Israel Robert Hale, London, Mark Simon and Schuster Library of Congress Catalogue No. 6811014, Caravaggio, a novel, published by Little Brown and Company, 1968 Library of Congress No. 6817272, Eyewitness, a personal account of a tumultuous decade, 1937-1946, Doubleday, The Corrupt Society, from Ancient Greece to Present Day America Prager ISBN 0-275-510204 The Dream and the Tomb Stein and Day The Splendor of Persia Zero The Story of Terrorism Published by Windgate London, New York in 1951